What's up everyone? Welcome to this episode of 5 Minute Mixing Tips. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use an insert effect in FL Studio. Using an insert effect is different from using a send effect because you actually put it into your signal chain so that it changes your main signal. Send effect is different and I have another video that you can check out if you want to learn about how to do that. But on to how to use an insert effect. It's very easy to do in FL once you're um, into the mixing stage. You have all of your signals routed into different tracks in your mixer. And then you have your effect slots right over here on the right hand side. And whenever you put an effect into one of these, you're creating an insert effect. So the example I'm going to use, um, I have a track loaded up here and we have all of our drum sounds bust over to track number three. And we've used a compressor on that drum bus in order to kind of glue our sounds together. So I'm going to play this for you and then show you how we loaded up this compressor and what it's doing. All right, let's mute all of our other sounds and I'm going to turn this off and if you were to load a new insert effect, you just click on the little down arrow, go through your effects, pick whatever you would like, and we could use a, a, a reverb if we wanted to, um, or an EQ. EQ is a very common insert effect because you typically are trying to change your main signal with an equalizer. Reverbs are usually used more as a send effect because it's something you add to your original signal. Um, if you did want to use a reverb as an insert, you need to mess with your wet and dry settings, which is something I'll get into another video um, about reverb. But anyway, so in this particular case, I selected our T-Rex CS Classic Compressor. And when it's off, this is what our drums sound like. So to kind of glue them all together and bring some more presence to them, we use our insert effect compressor, which changes our signal as it passes through. And here's our drums. You can see on uh, one of our snares, for instance, we used an EQ as an insert effect, and this allowed us to take low end and a couple other frequencies out of our snare. So I'm going to play this for you, um, and I'm going to mute that compressor and then turn it back on so you can see how it changes our signal. And it's that easy. So once again, to use an insert effect, you select the track that you want to insert an effect on. Go to your effect slots over here, click the down arrow, select your effect, put it on in there, and that's it. Adjust to taste, and you're good to go. Thank you all for watching this episode of 5 Minute Mixing Tips. I hope it was helpful to someone out there. Please feel free to leave a message in the comments. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. And if there's anything particular you'd like me to do a video about in the future, please let me know.